So we thought, hello, Christmas coffee time, yeah. right? I got Randy, the regular reindeer. Randy, the regular reindeer. Mm -hmm. And old Chris Kringle here. Yeah. You guys all know about Chris Kringle. We have something very big and exciting to talk about. I've mentioned it just once on Instagram. And oh wait, and we talked about it in one of our last vlogs. Yeah, talked about the project and everything. Yeah, yeah. our swimwear brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's been taking a long time to build it, and well, it helps mainly. I'm the designer, the designer obviously. Yeah. So she's been taking the big chunk of responsibility obviously. from this part because you know it's the design phase. So she's been designing. Mm -hmm. We've been doing the like yeah. the logistics and, and that kind of that part. So the brand's name is called La Tigra. I'm gonna put the handle down right here, mm -hmm. so you guys should totally go check it out on Instagram. Give it a follow. Um, I only have like one picture up there for right now, but I'm gonna start slowly incorporating gonna start, more like, content. Throwing. First off, let's talk about where the name La Tigra comes from. Oh, well, I created it. Yeah. Yeah. I love her, it. Her big fancy brain. Yeah, I yeah. got a big fancy brain. Mm -hmm. oh. So La Tigra obviously is another language for the tiger, but you chose two different languages, right? Mm -hmm. I did. For those of you that don't know, I'm Mexican, French, and American Indian. So I wanted to kind of pull from part of my heritage. So the idea that I came up with um, for La Tigra was La. Um, from Spanish for the and then Tigra comes from French in the French language. I really like the feel and the sound and the look and yeah. Yeah and I think that the reason that we went with swimwear is because we wanted to find something, a product that would translate well for our demographic I should say. Fitness is, is our both of our very core mm -hmm. you know which is amazing and like that's never going to go away because it's just our lifestyle but I really want to kind of create like an even bigger lifestyle and just connect and reach more more people you know because like not everyone is into like going to the gym the way that I am okay so another really big reason why I wanted to create swimwear is because ever since I was little, I have been obsessed with fashion. It's been like a super huge deal to me. I mean, you guys have seen my closet. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes it's a problem. It's a, always a problem. It's a problem. I just wanted a way to, like a creative outlet, um, express myself as with keeping in line with like fitness and everything. And I've got so many ideas for it, but we haven't even launched it. So we gotta see how things go. So when we used to do like a lot more swimwear content, and just because like we live in a beachy area anyways, like I have gotten a lot of experience with swimwear. I really, really feel comfortable with swimwear. Like I know I've learned a lot of what not what not to do with swimwear. Is that you were wearing a lot of swimwear and it was easy for you to point out things that you didn't like about certain pieces and things you did like about other pieces. And like certain companies would send us something and it'd be like, oh well the the fabric is like bleeding, or the color's coming off. Or oh my gosh, it's just been a nightmare. It's not double lined or it's not, you know, supportive or not. No lining. Or it doesn't have any, any adjustable straps or anything like that and it was kind of... Boobs falling out. Yeah. Not and covering the, your downstairs. Like mm -hmm. what is up with that? I've gotten some swimsuits before and I was just like, I can't, this is x-rated, I can't go to the beach in this thing. Yeah. So we decided to make a line that was going to be sexy, but also like functional. Functional. I just took a lot of my favorite things from other pieces of swimwear and tried to incorporate them into my designs. You know, nothing's ever going to be perfect, but I tried to make them as perfect as possible. And I'm like super in love with them. Like they're, it, this has been a long process, right? I think one of the longest, hardest parts was finding a manufacturer. Just that simple portion of that was finding really, somebody who yeah. could make what we wanted. It was almost a year, <laughs> it was like six months. Wasn't I it? know it took longer than that. It was, that was like the hardest part. Uh, but we ended up, we found somebody. Yeah. And then just like there's so many things that go into like 
creating clothing. Yeah. It's so, like that whole process made me realize or look at clothes completely differently. Like whenever you see a, you know, a pair of jeans or a shirt or a hat in a uh, mall, you just kind of like, oh, you just take it at face value. But then whenever you actually become, you know, like entrenched in the world of designing clothes and manufacturing clothes and you realize how much, you know, thought and detail goes into the, the simplest process or the simplest piece. So needless to say, like, the fit is pretty spot on with the with this one more pieces for this first collection that we're going to be dropping. So like, hopefully we didn't sound no. like it was bad because it's been like amazing. It's frustrating. It's all frustrating, but it's amazing just, and it's a lot. Kind of underestimated it when we first like thought about doing it. And, and then and we've been doing it with a chub. Yeah. So we were in Miami for like a week and we did the shoot. We, of course, we went with Orangutan mm -hmm. to do the photo shoot because we've worked with them quite a few times, a few times yeah. and it's just always a uh, fun experience and obviously they're very professional. And I know we haven't even gotten the images back yet, but I like know they're going to be We, we, we don't have to look at them. We don't have to look at them. We just like put them on the website, just close our eyes and put them on there because we know that's how I'm it is. I'm going to look at them. I'm going to look at them. And you were doing like filming behind the scenes stuff. I haven't really gotten a chance to look at like the behind the scenes stuff you caught on our cameras. We'll roll the, roll the footage for you. You'll see a little sneak peek of the pieces and you know, see how it went. manufacturing everything and we should be getting the everything shipped to us by the end of this yeah. month. I think we paid we did the final production payment today mm -hmm. and we should be getting all the pieces by the end of this month like you said and then you know we're gonna open up shop. So that's about all that we have for you guys today. Oh so, yeah we just Wanted to sit down, have a little chit chat with you guys, give you an update on what's been going on. It's kind of why we were MIA for so long. I mean, it's not like we weren't busy enough already, but now we're adding all this stuff on top of it, and it's it's nuts, man. We're trying I don't our best. Know. What are we doing? We're trying. What are we doing? Our best. <laughs> but thanks for watching this video. As always, we... you guys are the best. And don't forget to check out the La Tigra Swim Instagram. Give it a follow and a like. And give this video a thumbs up. And... Until okay. next time. Until the next video. Ooh.